roots will now emerge from the bottom and from the top they shoot in the leaves. Little by little these new descendants grow and the mangrove forest slowly advances into the sea. But on other occasions the seas fall at high tide and never gain a foothold in the muddy bottom. When these travelers reach the open sea, the stronger upward push of the salt water makes them float horizontally, and their green photosynthetic cells provide them with food. In this way, they can survive floating for a whole year, and so colonize other islands, other countries, or even other continents. Despite the concentrations of birds of the estuaries and the life hidden inside the dense interior, the place where the mangrove forest demonstrates its greatest biological richness is in the shadowy world of its submerged roots. Each day, the spectral world receives fresh supplies of nutrients from the rivers and the rising tides. Thus, there is constant renewal of resources in the shadowy maze of acidic muds and variable salinity, so the animals that have managed to adapt to the physical conditions proliferate in their thousands. Even apparently sterile corners teem with life. The filtering organisms such as the sea squirts, anemones, sponges and mollusks climb to the smooth roots and cover them, giving them a baroque appearance. 